this is a snapper we caught today off New Plymouth I'm just going to show you folks how I fillet them in case some of you don't know how to fillet and want to know how first knife important you have it sharp I come in behind that fin there and cut in on an angle otherwise you'll sit there for ages battling like that to get through the scales cut in like that cut right down to the bone come in around the eyeball with lots of meat behind the head cut right down hope you can see that now we're going to run this knife along like that down its back just to break the skin get a good view just breaking that skin right along the fin all the way down there and pop it alright put your thumb in there and just run it from the front to the back of the fins hard up against the bones don't worry you won't go through just keep slicing in little bits like that peeling it back as you do back to the front keep peeling it back and there's the middle of the carcass the spine stop there otherwise you will miss a big part of your bottom fillet right there now I go to about halfway down, point in, line it up with the fish's butthole, push through, there we go, push down hard and cut all the way down following that spine down, pop that at the end, simply go down Make sure you've got a nice cut. You see there's the rib cage. Alright, now you can either choose to blunt your knife and cut through the rib cage, or as I do, just find those bones and start cutting along it. Just like that. Those are the rib cage bones. Don't worry about bones in your fillets, you're still going to cut all this away later when you skin it. Cut down, and there you go, all the guts are in there, there's your fillet, skin on, I'll show you how to do that later. Now for the other side, notice I got all the meat off there, I've already done my cut along the spine, and I've come in down here first up around the head. Now the same thing goes from the head to the tail just run it along the bones. Don't try and do it all in one hit. Little bits up to the spine. Just keep going. There's the spine. You can see it. Knife there. Line it up with the fish's bum hole, which is about there. Pop it through. Cut down hard. Let it pop out. Now that one I've missed a bit of meat. This time I'll show you just cutting through the rib cage. Takes a bit of force. How to skin your fillet. One, you'll notice I'm using a different knife. This one has a long blade with a thin, flexible blade. Very important that it's flexible. I'll show you why soon. 
Next, you'll notice, or you may have wondered, have I scaled the fish? No, definitely not, and there's good reason for this. Grab your knife and at a 45 degree angle, just cut down until you reach that skin. Simply put your two fingers down and clamp down on the tail end of your fillet. You see the flexible part of the knife coming in handy now as I push down to keep the blade flat. When I cut, I only push. I never pull back on the cutting stroke. Pushing to cut. Like that. And keeping that blade bent and flat, firm against the surface. All the way through. Just like that. Skin. No need to scale it. Skin goes in the burly mix. Here's your fillet. You'll notice on this one the rib cage has already been cut out, but we're still going to make sure there's no bones in it. So there's the spine. Just cut a few millimetres away from it. There's your bottom fillet. A few millimetres away from the top. Cut that away there. If you have dogs, they love these bits. Pick your fillet up, just run your fingers along, make sure you don't feel any obvious bones. Under fresh filtered water, give it a quick rinse. Try and get those scales off, any stray scales. Remembering, when you go to cook it again, rinse it again. Place your fillets in containers similar to these or whatever you have, but the important part is to have homemade salt water. Always freeze your fillets in a bit of homemade salt water. Keeps it fresh, keeps it the way it was meant to be. Thanks for watching.